Okay, I think we touched on the most important points when it comes to uh, getting into a, such a job. This was really interesting, really eye-opening. Now I was wondering, at Facebook, you don't have a native Android app, right? You write your app in React Native, which is a cross-platform framework. I think, so we actually have mostly written in native code. <clears throat> like the thing about um, Facebook is that Facebook is a huge company, right? We have Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger app. And if you ask me, okay, does this technology exist at Facebook? The answer for me is probably going to be yes. Like there, there are so many engineers and so many code bases and so many different things coming together that, yeah, there is React Native, there is Kotlin code, there is Java code. There's probably a bunch of other like things that are now deprecated that have lived inside of the Android app. So the answer is, yeah, it does have some React Native, but actually largely it's native. And is Facebook already using Jetpack Compose? Um, I would say by and large, the answer is no, but I'm almost certain that I'm sure there's some team that has experimented in some way. Like, again, like the answer is that if you have tens of thousands of developers, I'm sure there's like some part of the company somewhere, which is experimenting with it. But as a, like broadly speaking, I think that, you know, Facebook is not going to be the first to pick up a brand new technology because, you know, we need to make sure that things work. Okay, so if someone wants to get into a big tech company right now, they definitely have to learn XML, right? Yeah, I mean, I think that <clears throat> like when you when you talk about getting into the big company, we're talking largely about the interview process. And I feel like when you actually are talking about the interview process, a detail like that will very rarely come up. Like, I don't think I've ever been asked when I've been interviewing, like, hey, do you know XML or do you know Jetpack Compose? A lot of it will be, show me what you've built. And if you've built something of, of meaning, of value to people, um, either through your past work experience or a project that you've built on your own, then I have a high degree of confidence that whether it's XML or Jetpack Compose or some other technology like Flutter or React Native, I'm pretty confident that someone like you will be able to pick it up. And so I, I don't think that the people need to necessarily worry about, okay, I need to learn XML in order to get that job. A lot of that, you're going you're gonna to have to relearn a lot of things, I'm telling you. When you get when you get that job, so rather than trying to optimize for like how to hit the ground running, focus instead on building things that have value, and then you're going to be able to learn all that on the job. So the really thing that or the only thing that really matters for these interviews are data structures and algorithms, basically. Yeah, I'd say that um, once you're at the interview stage, a lot of it will be data structures and algorithms and how you communicate. So it's not just like your knowledge of DSA; it's also very much about um, your collaboration, how you explain it, how you explain it. And also, I think definitely in the interview, it's not just DSA. There's also going to be at least one interview, which talks about, tell me what you've built, like, tell me about your past experience. Why do you want to work at this particular company? And you should be able to eloquently describe, um, you know, have eloquent answers to those. 